Today I am really feeling my Jewish grandmother fantasy right now. I will never forget my favorite voice message from my grandmother. Maxwell, this is your grandmother. I haven't heard from you all day today. We have to leave in a half hour. Are you trying to kill me? And correction! Hey everybody, it's Miss Cracker and it's time for a tutorial from a Jew. That's a Jew-tutorial. You've got questions, I've got answers about drag life and drag life. There you have it, right from the horse's mouth. Everybody, I am so excited for this episode because this is when we get to take a real emotional journey together. I am going to show you how to tease, nay, bully some hair into a beautiful lady bunny fantasy. She's going to be fluffy, honey. Like I said in previous episodes, this wig was only $30 from I'm Style Wigs. They have such amazing prices and even better results. We are going to tease this thing the hell out. This is my favorite part of wig making because this is where all of the life lessons really live. And I'm going to talk you through it step by step. Uh. Day by day. There are so many different ways to tease, but for me, this is the way that works. Let's have a look at some of my favorite wigs throughout the years. You like them. You really like them. Just like every session starts, just guide the head down. Oh, oh this is Peggy. I have three wig blocks at home. Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. I'm gonna turn this bitch around so I can show you what's going on. I'm spin this wig block round, right round like a, I don't know, I don't know what it's like. I couldn't come up with a simile fast enough. Take a bunch of Aflac clips and use them to pull the hair up and away from the bottom, except for these very last tracks. And I'm gonna use these duck clips to hold it away from the wig block. I can't wait for me to have three mental breakdowns during this process. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's have a breakdown. Breakdown. Break, break, break down. Ew, break down, break down. Okay. We don't need that. If you are not dropping a comb every three minutes, you are not doing this right. Girl. Ugh! I gewalt my back. Ooh. All right. I'm just separating everything by a fistful of hair. Just one fistful at a time, because that's about all the brush can manage. Just about this much. We're just trying to get all the hair. Every time I drop a pin, it takes three years off the end of my life, and... <laughs> this, this is why I have gray hair. I gewalt. All right, there are three levels of Jewish pain. Oi, mom and you. Which is mean, oh, mother. Oi, God's in you. That means, oh, God. Like, right now, I'm at, like, mom and you level. In life, I'm at oi, gavalt, which is, like, a whole different level. Oi, gavalt! So now I have exposed the nape of the wig block's neck. This is what we call the kitchen. What that neck do? We're gonna take this hair and comb it out nice and smooth. When you comb wig hair, you always work from the very ends very gently. You don't want to stress out the hair. If you stretch it, it's plastic, so it's just going to turn into a corkscrew, and that means constant tangling that you cannot untangle. This is what you should hear when you comb. Sick, 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 not There's a nice subtle difference. Think about which direction you want the hair to fall. It's in the back of the head. You want it to fall down. So we gonna do the opposite. We're gonna lift it up. Here's where the life lessons begin. When you take a wig out of a bag, it is already beautiful in its own way. The curls are lovely and smooth, but there's something missing from it, and that is suffering. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make this wig suffer a little bit. Just like you make yourself suffer through your early 20s with alcohol and boys, we're gonna make this wig suffer through teasing. And it's gonna have a whole lot of character by the time we're done. I take my freeze it to start. All you need is a couple of spritzes. One, two, a three. There you go. Take your horsehair brush and starting at the bottom, now you're here. Go like this. Just with the edge of the brush, 
rub down. Dig in, rub down. Dig in, rub down. See how it begins to stand up on its own? It's like magic. Then gently pull the hair out of the tees. Down, down, la, down, down, la. Shablam. You see how I'm not crushing the hair. I'm just leaving some nice little air pockets just like this. You don't want to be too hot on your hair. It's been nice to you. Look at this mess. This ugliness is where beauty is going to come from. A wig is just like a child. The more you abuse it, the more character it will have. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I have like so much character. I'm going to show you how to do the back of the wig in fast forward because you get the point by now with the back. I'll join you again at the sides. Now we are getting to the sides of the head. I like my part on the left, so we're gonna work on the right side of the head first. I'm gonna take the hair that should lay straight down and I'm gonna pull it forward and up and comb it back and down. I'll show you what that looks like. Pulling the hair forward and up, sprit, 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 sprit. <laughs> and combing it back and down. Stop turning. Stop turning your head, I'm talking to you. This is a full body workout. I'm getting my core worked out here. Now you may be thinking to yourself, this looks like a wreck. You're right. Remember, we're going through ugliness, not around it. Now the other side of the head. And now we're just gonna keep working through the rest of the hair. All right, so we have teased pretty much the whole wig and I have the bangs in my hand. This is the most important part. I have all the bangs right here and I'm gonna split them in two. We're gonna comb out the first section. I'm gonna add hairspray, comb that hairspray into it, and then really go in on this one. I'm pulling it forward and down and packing it. and then we're combing it back. So we've got the whole head gone. There we go. This wig looks a mess. Which brings us to this week's do and don't. Do tease the hell out of your wig until it looks like a frizzy Hermione Granger mess. If you don't get to Hermione, you are not getting to the magic. Don't think about how much money you spent on this lace front and try to treat the hair nicely. If you're gentle with her, you will never give her the character that she deserves. Spare the comb, spoil the wig. That's just what you do. Is there any possible way for us to take this ugliness and turn it into something beautiful? Well, if wigs are anything like life, then yes, we absolutely can. However, this is a cliffhanger episode. I'm not gonna show you how to smooth and sculpt this bitch until next week. Sad that class is over? It's okay. Next week, Shul is back in session when I talk about sculpting on my tutorial with the Jew. That's a Jew-torial. I'll see you next time with Miss Cracker. She's a woman! Oi, gotten you.